Happy Friday, grandchildren. I'm sorry I didn't do a video last week, but I've been really, really busy, and I didn't. I didn't get a chance to film anything, so I put together your, um... Uh, little animation. For your, for your reading pleasure. Ah, uh, there's so much to talk about. One, I probably look terrible because I've been sick for like two or three weeks because I've been working so much. Uh, and I think I'm finally getting over being sick, but this has just been the terrible, like, congested part. Also, I, uh, I am participating in No Shave November, which was a bad decision because I don't grow facial hair. I don't, like, at first glance, it might not look like I have any facial hair, but it's there and it's terrible. Look at that. That is frightening. Oh, there's like... I don't know if you can see that. When you like look at the edge when the light's coming through. Oh my god, dude, look, look at that. Oh my god, there's so much terrible blonde hair. And I have a mustache and I don't... I, I don't know why anyone has a mustache because it looks terrible. It looks like I'm gonna murder and rape somebody. Not, not in that order. Not that I would do either of those. Th I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut up now. Anyway, uh, I've been sick. I'm unshaven because of no shaving November, and I'm thinking about quitting early. I've made it 13 days without shaving, and uh, this, this is just terrible. There's no benefit coming out out of this for anybody. I'm, I just feel terrible because of how gross it looks, and I doubt there's anyone that looks at me when they're walking on the street and they're like, "Damn, that is some nice facial hair." I mean, uh, uh, like, you, I think most people who have facial hair probably don't get that, but you know, every once in a while when there's like that, that lumberjack looking person that just has this thick, glorious beard, I, I know I'll, I'll compliment them. I'll stop them right there and say, hey, damn, that's a nice beard. I wish I could have your beard. And they'll say, I know, I get that a lot. That's not me though. This is, <laughs> this is all I can do and it's terrible. Uh... I don't know if I want to quit early, because everybody at the movie theater will hate me if I quit early, because everyone's doing it there, which is why I'm doing it. But the people at the news station don't understand, because none of them are doing it. So it's like this weird, I don't know, I don't know what to do. Also, um, other thing that I just forgot for a second, that's the reason that I'm filming, and I should tell you this. I got accepted into an Australian film school, and I told myself that I was going to apply for a couple of them, and if I got accepted into any of them, I was going to go. And I got accepted into one of them, and I'm still going to apply for like two more, but this means that if I keep the promise that I made to myself, I am definitely going to Australia in half a year. L let me just get this, get this out of my body. Okay, I think, I think I'm good. Um, I'll be going to Australia for probably two years, maybe three if I choose a different school. And I'll be studying uh, directing, producing, and screenwriting, and a little bit of cinematography. And I'll just learn what it takes to make movies for a living and make digital media. Somewhat related news, uh, some, uh, that's really ter- it's really, it's really, really, really terrifying because I've lived with my dad my entire life and now the first time I'm moving out of the house, I'm not only moving out of the house, I'm moving across the world to Australia. So I have to figure out how to live and function as an independent adult at the same time that I am learning to function as an outsider of a society trying to assimilate in. And I'll be studying full-time in college, all, all three of those at the same time. And I have to figure out like an apartment. I don't know what I'm going to do with that because it's in Sydney and it's not like cheap to live in Sydney, kind of like any other big city. So I, I might, I have to figure that out. And I don't know what I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, but I'll have to figure it out because that's life. It'll be an adventure. Uh, it's also very worrisome because um, my girlfriend and I already pretty much never get to see each other. Because 
I have work, and then she has school all the time and other activities, and her parents don't let her stay out at night that much or text or anything after like nine o'clock. So I, I, I don't even really do anything besides texting her most of the time. That's how it's been for a really long time, and that's really sad. Uh, and it's going to be even more difficult if we are still together. Uh, if I go to Australia, I will see her even less than I am now. Because I'm going to be on the other side of the world in another time zone. And that's... Ugh. I don't know how I'm going to talk to like my family and my friends. Let alone maintain a relationship it, like assuming like I mean there's still we have like eight months before I end up going anywhere so that's assuming that we're still together whatever blah 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 neither of us die and we agree to try to keep it going through Australia I'm being a Debbie Downer because Australia is really really exciting and I'm gonna be going to the other side of the world and that's like one of the biggest adventures of my entire life and I've done a lot of dumb adventure things and this is the most dumb I mean exciting. It's the most exciting. That's what I meant. So that's the thing that's happening um, for me soon. Uh, the horror movie for the movie theater. Um, we're postponing, I guess, indefinitely. I don't know. The Both of the actors, conveniently at the same time, um, said that they couldn't do it. Both the other actors that we got. Um, one of them is going into the military, and one of them is too busy with school. So we're postponing that, even though we have an entire script written now. We're, both really, we're all really excited about that. The short film that I wanted to do on my own, um, I'm trying to get together all the equipment, and I need to do auditions for two other characters for that. One of the... One of my old teachers, Mr. Barr, who was my band teacher, and he's an awesome guy uh, who teaches at Foothill. He got Teacher of the Year for 2016, and there's like like three or four of them. It's 2015 right now. Don't be confused by the number. Uh, it's kind of like, I think cars do that, where they go like a year ahead. I don't know. He got awarded right now, but it's for 2016 Teacher of the Year, whatever, whatever reason that they have for doing that. It's dumb. Anyway, uh, he knows that I'm really into making video things, and there's this uh, ad that I made for myself that I put on the internet uh, a month or two ago to try to get the job at the news station, and it worked, might I add. And he uh, ran into me at a football game at Foothill, and he asked me if I wanted to make an ad for him for the, the state level before he goes on to the national level for Teacher of the Year for 2016. So I am doing that, and I'm editing an ad for him right now, and I filmed a bunch of stuff, I'm going to film some more, and I have to get it done within the next week or two, and I don't know how I'm going to fit that in with all the other stuff I'm doing, but I didn't tell him that, that I don't have that much time, because... Because I am an idiot. No, no, don't get me wrong. I think I'm gonna do it very well. Uh, I've been wor I've been wor putting a lot of work into it. I've just been not sleeping, because that's the answer to most problems. Also, I decided that after the first attempt, I'm not going to ever do a m movie like month review, a monthly review movie, a uh, monthly movie reviews video. I'm not gonna do that again, because I thought about it, and it's dumb. I don't know why I did it, and I regret it. And I'm a quitter. Another thing, I don't know if I mentioned this in another video, I, I feel like I'm gonna say that a lot, because I, I... I don't script these videos, and I just kinda talk and uh, record it, and... I don't remember half the things that I said in other videos, what I talked about, so I might repeat myself every once in a while. That being said, I got a guitar uh, like half a year ago and then I actually it was on it was like on, on Amazon it was a terrible cheap guitar and I was like wow that's it was like 50 bucks or something and that's a that's a reasonable price I think for a guitar I'll I'll buy one and I did and then I got it like half a year ago and then I just let it sit there for a while because I didn't have time to learn it and then this last like month maybe month and a half month I think I've been trying to teach myself how to play guitar and it's actually going kind of well and I've written like two songs on the guitar uh, with like all five chords that I know let, let me tell you in just one month I've learned so much on guitar
That was a song that I wrote called Skyler. And I know I haven't done a song Saturday in a while, and I said I tried to do it every two weeks, but I didn't end up doing that because I have too much work to do. And then my girlfriend asked me if I would record my guitar songs for Song Saturday. And I don't think I'm going to do that. Because they sound terrible and I'm terrible at guitar. So far. Did I ever show you guys my passport? Because I had to get a passport to go to Australia and I don't remember if I ever showed you guys that. But I got a passport. And that's right here. And if you open it up there's a bunch of patriotic imagery. And in my face. The opposite of patriotic imagery. Your passport picture is pretty much the just as bad as a driver's license picture, except bigger. Anyway, that's just an update on uh, what's happening. And once again, I'm sorry that I didn't do a video last week, but I've been really, really busy. And I was actually surprised that I had time to do it this week. Because I've also been really, really busy recently. I'm working a lot. But it's good, because I'm making a lot of money, and I don't have time to spend the money. <laughs> Just kidding. I can spend all the money even if I don't have time. <laughs> so anyway, that's an update on what's happened in my life recently. Um, y yay or nay on the, the f facial hay? You guys should do a vote on it. Even though you're not born yet. I don't know how you vote. You should, uh, if YouTube is still a thing, find the page for this video and comment with a yay or a nay. But when you say when you say yay it has to be an ecstatic like yay and if you say nay it has to be like a horse like nay like that. I don't know how you write that into text, but that's up to you to figure out. Or you could just not do that, because it doesn't matter and no one gives a shit if you don't. Anyway, that's it for this week, maybe. I don't know. I don't think I'll have time to do anything else this week. Uh, oh, I forgot! I might be going skydiving in like a week or two because there's somebody that my dad knows that really wants to go skydiving and I'm like the only one that actually wants to go skydiving at all. And they want me to go with them and I think that might be happening next week and or the week after that. I don't know. I'll let you guys know. If I do it, I'll film it and then you guys can watch. Um, yeah, I'm, 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 I just forgot to say that during the entire entry today so far, but I, I remembered at the end. You're welcome. Anyway, if you guys see me anytime in the near uh, me future you present, um, you should show me a cool trick that you can do with your mouth. That sounds dirty. Let me explain. I mean like, like that thing where you put a grass blade between your two fingers and you blow and it makes like a blue the sound. Like that. Or how to whistle. Except I know how to whistle, so you can't do that. I'll show you something. This is called droning. And it's really cool for like two minutes. And then it annoys everybody. And they want to murder you. Trust me, I've been murdered three times so far. Anyway, so this is droning. Uh, first, you have to know how to whistle. <whistles> like that. And you have to be able to hum. Like this. <whistles> then you, all you do is do it at the same time. <whistles> Yeah, I, I don't know how it works. I should probably Google that, because that sounds really interesting. I'm assuming it has something to do with, like, the pressure in your mouth changing, because it's, like, the different sound waves, and, like, they're bouncing off of each other in some weird way that's kind of canceling them out or something. I don't know. That's just a complete guess. I'm going to look it up, though, and find out for sure. Anyway, uh, when, when you whistle and you hum at the same time, it makes this, like, vibrating sound with the whistle, and you can't really hear the hum that much, but you hear the whistling that's, like, vibrating, and it has the end result of going... <laughs> Yeah. It's like whistling, but cooler. I know, your grandpa's pretty cool. Uh, see you guys next time.